yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Diligence. Hold on, let me start some music. Yeah. Listen to me. I'm excited. This is the Daily Due Diligence, vlog number seven. Thank you for tuning in. Now, today we're going to talk about a very touchy subject that I know is going to bless you. I know is going to encourage you. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that disapproval equals acceptance in the kingdom. Disapproval of the world equals acceptance in the kingdom. Do you hear what I'm saying? Listen, I know without a shadow of a doubt, many of you are being hated on. You're being disapproved. You're being neglected. You're being segregated. What? And this is all God's perfect will. He said, you will be hated because of me, because of Jesus Christ. But don't worry. Come on, I have overcame the world. He also says, those that endure to the end will be saved. So you got to endure through the hatred. You got to endure through the trials and tribulations. You got to endure through the rejection. God loves you. He approves you. If you are accepted by the world and everybody loves you, you need to fear God. Because if you become a friend of the world, you will become an enemy of God. I'm going to say that again. If you become a friend of the world, you will become an enemy of God. Do you want that? Do you want to feel His wrath? I don't think so. So understand this. Yes, you may be hated and despised and rejected by, by many people around you. But just know that you are accepted by the beloved. You are accepted by the King of Kings, the God of glory. The person whose only opinion matters. What? Come on. You cannot manage people's perception. Apostle Mark Jones taught me that. You cannot manage people's perception. It is a it is a it is a job that will never succeed. You can't you can't dictate how people perceive you. Come on, man. If they hate, let them hate. Don't be moved by it, right? Because listen, you are who you are by the grace of God. If they can't handle it, I don't know what their problem is. What? Because you are accepted, you are loved, you are cherished in the kingdom. And every single person who rises a tongue against you shall be condemned. Come on, man. You are accepted into the beloved. Wrap your mind around that for a minute. He loves you. He accepts you. He appreciates you. He's in heaven like, yes, that is my son who I am well pleased. Yes, that is my daughter in who I am well pleased. I need you to receive that right now. Oh, glory to Jesus Christ. Father God, I just lift up every single person struggling with stress and anxiety and depression because they felt rejected. But I pray right now that that rejection right now will register in their mind as acceptance because even as they are rejected by the world, they're accepted into your beloved. He said you will be hated. You will be persecuted. You will go through the fire for my name's sake. Come on, man. But he said, don't worry, for I have overcome the world. And we are in Christ. That makes you an overcomer. Come on, man. You are an overcomer. So don't be moved by people's perception. But perceive glory to God. The perfect will of God. And the perfect will of God is that you are accepted. You are his beloved. You are cherished. You are saved. You are delivered. You are healed. You are a mighty man of God. A mighty woman of God. Walk in that power for me today. And don't be moved by people's disapproval. Because you are approved in the kingdom, baby. It's your boy, Diligence. Come on. Daily do Diligence. Vlog number seven. Are you ready for tomorrow? Are you ready for tomorrow? Because it's going to be powerful. Prepare your heart. Prepare your mind. In Jesus' name, it's your boy, Diligence. I love you guys, man. I'm signing off. One love.